Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another tutorial for large earrings in Hichol style because I know this style is your favorite one. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also, please like, share and comment in this way you help me a lot and you might want to become a member which comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. If you are a beginner, don't worry because I'm showing everything in easy steps, so I'm sure you will be able to make them by yourself. Without further ado, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 ounce seed beads, black, turquoise, red, orange, yellow and white. And you could use 10 all seed beads as long as all of them are one and the same size. Here I'm using earring findings. These are liver bags. You could use others of your choice. Here I use nylon thread from Spark Beads. You could use any other that thread that you like. If you want to make your work stiffer, use thicker thread. You could always dip your work in sugary water like in crocketing or put some crafting glue at the back to make it stiffer. Here I'm using size 11 beading needle, scissors and flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but you can use them if you want to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and if I need to I will add more thread later and I will start Okay guys, and I'm going to pick up 32 black beads. I'm going to slide those down. And these are my 32 beads. I just double check that if they are 32. And now what I want to do is to make a knot here. And how I do this? I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Okay, and I have this now. What I want to do next is go through some beads in this direction. Now guys, I'm going to take just one turquoise bead and as I'm exiting from this black, I will skip the next one that's on my way and I will go through the following. Then I take another one, skip one and go through the following. One more. And again. And this guys is called peyote stitch and this is what I'm gonna be doing until the end of this row and when I'm up to here I'll be back to show you what's coming up next. And as I continue this absolutely the same way I'm here at my last step where I need to add my last bead and I'm going here through the very first black bead where I started my whole row from, which happens to be also my last bead. Okay, now I have this. I have 32 beads in the center and, and 16 beads added around them because as I skip one, they are now half of the beads. Okay, I'm going through one of the turquoise beads and here what I want to do is to add a turquoise and then a black then a turquoise and a black one And this row, guys, is super easy and super pleasant. 
because all we do is that we fill in the gaps. We alternate one turquoise bead and one black bead. And this is basically all that we do until the end of this row. Now I take two red, one orange and two red beads and as I'm exiting from the first turquoise bead I skip the central one that is sticking out and I go through the following. Then I go through the black and through the following turquoise. I take two red, one orange and two red. I skip the central one here and if you can in one movement you could go through the next turquoise black and turquoise in this way you just save time you just save one movement okay then I have two red one orange two red okay and go like this Okay, and again the same sequence. And I'm going to continue these guys off camera until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and these are my last beads that I'm adding here. If you were not able to do this, just rewind this video and see how I'm doing the first step and it's all the same until the end of this row. Now I want to step up in my next row. That is why I want to go through these two orange beads that are just next to these two red beads, sorry, that are just next to the orange one. And I need two orange beads, one yellow and two orange. I skip the central orange one and I go through the first of those two reds that are on my way. And take three black beads. And now I will go through the first red one. I take the same sequence, two orange, one yellow and two orange beads. Skip the central orange one more time and go through the following red one. Take three black beads, go through the second red and two orange, one yellow, two orange. Skip the central one and go through the following red and take three, go through the second red one. Okay? Now I'm going to continue this absolutely the same way at two orange, one yellow, two orange here at the top and three black beads here and connect these two red ones and I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last black beads. Okay, and pay attention, you should again go through the second red one. Don't make the mistake to go through one of the orange beads. Okay, so now I have this. If you couldn't do this, just rewind the video, see the first steps and repeat them it, and it's all the same. Okay, now I want to step up in my next row, so I'm going through these two orange beads. I take two yellow, one white and two yellows. Skip the central and go here through the following. I take five black beads and I go in the same place here through this orange. 
two yellow, one white and two yellow beads. Skip the central one and go through the following. Five black. Go through the orange. Two yellow, one white, two yellow. Skip the central yellow one and go through the following orange. And five again. Go through the second orange like you did before. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. And here I am guys at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And again, I want to step up in my next row. Now I'm going to take five white beads, skip the central white and go through the following. Then I will go through the yellow, through the orange and through two of the black beads. If you can do it in one movement and if not do it in two or more. You see I have five black beads here and I'm going through the first two of them. And I pick up three turquoise beads. I skip here the central one and go through the following two black ones and I also went through the orange one. If you can do it in one movement, if not, however it is easier for you. But my goal is to exit through these two yellow beads and to be in a position to add my next five white beads. Okay, I have my next five white, I skip the central white and I go here in this direction to all of those beads. Two yellows and an orange. And I pull. Then I go through these two black ones. The first two of the five that I have here. Take three turquoise, skip the central and go through the orange as well, if you can. Okay, and two yellows in this direction. Now it will start bending a little bit, but don't worry, we'll fix it in the next steps. And again, five beads like I did before. Skip here the center and go through the following. And like this. And then through the first two of those five that you have. Okay, and three turquoise and go here like this through as many beads as you can. And I'm aiming for this last yellow, which is next to the white that is sticking out. Okay, and now I will continue absolutely the same way until the end. Five white, three turquoise, five white, three turquoise. I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. If you forget how I'm doing it, you could always rewind and repeat this part from here. See you in a while. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now guys, my thread is almost over. That is why I want to cut it and add a new thread. And how am I going to do this? I want to go through some beads in this direction, let's say here, 
and I want to make a loop go twice through the loop I've made like this in this way I create a secure knot then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread now I will add a new thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and now I have a new long thread on my needle what I want to do is to go here through some beads with this thread okay like that this is my tail thread and I will hold it with my thumb and here I will do absolutely the same thing that I showed you before I'm making here a loop between my beads okay and what I do is that I go once and go second time through this loop okay then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started this knot from and I pull holding this tail thread here then I will go through all of those beads in this direction okay and in my next step I'm going to cut this tail thread here cut it as close as possible to your work and if it still sticks out you could burn it with a zipper now I'm going to take three white beads and I go through these two whites I take a black and a turquoise and I go here then I take a turquoise and a black and I go in these two white beads not through the yellow but through the two whites okay and I have this three white beads again go through the next two white a black and a turquoise and go here in the middle one that is sticking out a turquoise and a black go in these two white beads then three white and go like this a black and a turquoise a turquoise and a black and three white beads okay my friends and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll be back okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last turquoise and black bead now I need to do an additional row here which will consist of only turquoise beads and in order to do this I'm going through all of those white beads and then through the black and through the turquoise if you can do it in one movement if not in more okay then take three turquoise beads skip the central and go through the following two
and then go through all of those white beads. Go through all of the whites and if you can also through the black and turquoise. Three turquoise, skip the central and go through the next few. Again, go through all of the beads here. Exit out of the first turquoise and add three. And continue the same way, guys, adding three beads here, 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 and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, guys, and here are my last three beads that I'm adding. I'm going like this. Then I'm going like this. And through all of those beads. Then I go through the first of those three beads that we added. I skip the central one and I go through the following two. In these ways, guys, I create a new thread path and I create a beautiful angle here. And I also strengthen my work and make it stay nice and tight. Okay. I continue in this direction and I exit here through the second turquoise counting from here. I skip here the central part and I go through the next beads. And when I pull an angle is created. I will show you guys one more time and I will let you do this by yourself until the end. And if you feel it soft, again, I can repeat that you could dip it in sugary water, you could put clear nail polish at the back or some kind of uh, transparent crafting glue, clear crafting glue. Uh, to make it stay nice and tight or you could reinforce it several times and use thicker thread. So now I'm skipping the center one more time like I showed you and I'm pulling and I will continue the same way until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay guys and now I finish this row the same way and I'm exiting through one of those beads here uh, and I'm exiting through the bead that is sticking out the most here. And I'm taking a seed bead, an earring finding and a seed bead. And I go back in circle just like this. Okay, then I'm going to reinforce. And I'm going through some beads in this direction. And here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. Then I'm going through some beads in this direction. And I will cut this tail thread. 
Okay guys, and now my large Hichol style seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe, also hit the bell button if you still haven't. You could also support me by liking, sharing and commenting or becoming a member. And this comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.